Energy is what makes us dynamic, and we have evolved beyond our dreams. Our dreams have lit our way through the darkness, and out of our dreams, we build the future for our children. Energy gave riches to our lives. We reached our present through the past imagination and tackled challenges through our hard work. There are no challenges which are unsurmountable if we put our minds together. And together we will be on this beautiful earth as long as we sustain it with clean energy. The beauty of our Earth is not only what we see, but also what lies beneath us. And the underground is where we can tap in for an unlimited amount of energy. This is geothermal, the resource that can be converted into clean power using the heat from Mother Earth. Geothermal resources produce insignificant amounts of pollutant and greenhouse gases. And unlike other sources of clean energy, it can be extracted continuously as long as it is exploited sustainably. The mandate of GDC is to accelerate the development of geothermal resources in Kenya. GDC is tasked with developing steam fields and selling geothermal steam for electricity generation to independent power producers and to the Kenya Electric Generating Company for them to generate the electrical power to Kenya's growing power demand. To harness the geothermal resource sustainably, GDC has to carefully manage the extraction of the brine in order to preserve the geothermal reservoir, the heart of geothermal resource where the brine is created. A geothermal resource depends on the coexistence of four key elements, heat, water, permeable zones, the pathways for the waters to move within the rocks, and the cap rock, a shallow geological formation tight enough to maintain the temperature and pressure of the geothermal reservoir. All these elements are not visible from ground. Thus, GDC has to make use of highly sophisticated geoscientific engineering and environmental studies. The journey of a geothermal development starts from searching the areas where these four elements might coexist. Most geothermal fields are situated close to volcanoes, where there is the existence of hot magma chambers closer to the surface, which heat the underground water. Geologists rely on the aerial photography and satellite images to detect topographic features related to volcanic activity and evidence of past faulting or fracturing. Satellite images are also used to locate areas where the hot water emerges or emerged in the past, leading footprints in the form of hot springs or hydrothermal alteration. They also take rock samples, which they analyze to identify the kind and age of volcanism and also ascertain how deep and how old the heat source is. Hot springs and fumaroles are indications of heat, water, and permeability coexisting in the area and give clues for the existence of the geothermal reservoir underneath. Geochemists study the chemistry of the brine and gas sampled from the hot springs. By understanding the chemical reactions of the brine, geochemists can estimate reactions between the rock material and water to inform on how deep and how hot the reservoir is, and also to inform on the origin of the water which became geothermal brine. To see deep structures covered by the volcanic activity and vegetation, and to estimate how wide the geothermal activity moving through the structures which affect the underground, GDC utilizes geophysical methods. Geophysicists study the changes of the physical properties of the rock materials in contact with geothermal activity. Measurements and changes in the density of the rocks help to detect faults and fractures. Changes in electrical conductivity of the rocks underneath help in the understanding of the distribution of the underground permeability. The data collected from the studies by the geologists 
geochemists and geophysicists are integrated by a team of geoscientists to visualize the geothermal reservoir hidden deep underground. The conceptual model is used to target prospective structures where GDC should drill geothermal wells to bring to surface the geothermal resource. Drilling is an art. The precise coordination of the drilling crew teamwork and how they operate the drilling machines is an art. GDC owns seven high-capacity rigs manned by GDC drillers who work tirelessly day and night throughout the year. Numerous wells have been completed since the establishment of GDC in 2008. As wells are completed, they are tested by the GDC reservoir and well engineers to evaluate their performance and the quality of the geothermal brine. This information is used to improve the geothermal conceptual model that in turn will improve the targeting of the subsequent wells. Then reservoir engineers model the geothermal field to estimate its power generation capacity and its response to exploitation. These scientific and technical processes serve to decrease the risks involved in the development of power facilities. These processes are continuously repeated by the hardworking GDC scientists, engineers, drillers, and other staff in all the areas where there are prospective geothermal sites. While doing this in Kenya, GDC is also empowering neighboring countries of Africa through trainings for them to achieve the utilization of geothermal resources in their countries. Geothermal is not only used for power generation, Geothermal resources can also be applied in direct uses, which include enhancing crop growth, processing, value addition, and crop preservation and storage. GDC is committed to developing green energy for Kenya by bringing together nature, technology, and teamwork.